one of WWF Zimbabwe's strategic objectives is to support the creation of an enabling technical and policy environment for renewable energy access and investments in the country. As a part of achieving this objective, WWF Zimbabwe piloted biogas as a possible solution in reducing the over-reliance on wood energy by households in the mid-Zambezi landscape and a Swedish International Development Agency, CEDA, funded project. The project was implemented in partnership with Environment Africa and community-based organizations with technical support from the Ministry of Energy and Power Development and the Ministry of Agriculture, Lands and Rural Settlement. Under the project, rural communities in Mudzi and Motoko districts demonstrated that this technology can produce clean energy from Jatropha seed cake and other available biomass. Chirongwa chichaka tanga kuburiki zani kubika sipo. Ze Jatropha. Chirongwa grupi ya kubika sipo ze Jatropha. Saka kuma grupi imomo. Do maingotoro homo no muma chikadziru kwa biogas. Kuvaparaka gadziru wa biogas kushika parish nishi. And kutuona ini upenyo wangu. Nenge watu chinja. Kudarika shandanga njimbori. Nukuti mashure mese umu. Ndaipara za masangu. Ndichi tema uuni pa gore. Ndaito tema ngoro 24 ze uuni. Tichenda kure kumakomo. Unotema uuni. About 70% of the country's population is rural and dependent on fuel wood as the principal source of energy. The project is demonstrating how decentralized biogas digesters can provide clean, reliable and alternative energy to marginalized rural communities to contribute towards reducing deforestation. It is also improving livelihoods through agricultural production from biogas substrate. When we were conceptualizing this project, we were just coming to the end of an EU-funded project in which we're working with the same communities in Muzi and Mutoko around Jatropha processing and value addition. So what we then realized was that as they process Jatropha, they get an oil and then they get a waste called Jatropha seed cake. And then we're toying around with the idea of using that seed cake as a biomass and feed for them to get energy. So we then came about with the concept of putting together kettle manure and uh, Jatofa seed cake to mix it together and see if we can come up with a feed to use in biogas digesters. So we were working with uh, about 11 CBOs in Muzi and Mutoko, um, organizing them in a way in which they can be begin to engage better with their local authorities, with uh, government, to begin to request for some of these uh, basic rights per se to better and cleaner energy services. We had, we had loved the project to proceed purely for many reasons, because it has assisted our communities to date to move on from the traditional way of uh, sourcing energy from using firewood uh, to alternative source of energy, which is a government trust in terms of alter alternative source of energy. The majority of Zimbabweans in both rural and peri-urban areas rely on wood energy for cooking. Over-dependence on fuel wood contributes to massive deforestation and respiratory diseases associated with indoor air pollution. The major parts or the major components of uh, the digester plant includes the, the inlet, which is uh, made up of uh, the mixing chamber, where the farmers mix the materials that are fed in the digester, which include 10 kgs jatropha seed cake, 30 kgs cow dung, and 80 liters of water. These materials are directed to the next uh, component, that is uh, the digester, where these materials uh, are broken down or they decay. And in the process, the bacteria will produce the gas. When the gas is produced, it is directed to the house where it is used. The waste or the slurry from the digester comes out through an outlet leading to the slurry pit. The slurry is then collected by the farmers to make compost manure. Parishino, Jaka, Jakundi Rukira, 
nokuti ndane biogas hapasi sina chandi cha buritsa kana dhora kana 5 rand ndakubika nyore nyore ne biogas um pakuli makwanda ita kudhara nemanyura mombe chete ndaita 15 bags ma 15 matsaga ema ai ma 50 each bag pakusenza kunda kuita home biogas ndakita ndakwana 25 bags je chibage mpaega saka ndikona kuti mutsako wekumanyura ku biogas uri pamberi kupfura mpfudzi womombe wake wake when working with communities what sells more are the softer elements the changes in quality of life because you're looking at the reduction in load in terms of women the improvement in quality of life for the children for them it's that which stands out more than us trying to talk about conservation conservation so it's very important to make sure that whatever technology you're putting out there responds to the humanity factor and then when you when it does respond to issues around livelihoods and quality of life it's actually easier for people to take it on and then it's a win-win scenario another key lesson is for such projects to prosper there is need for sustainable financing mechanisms tailored for rural communities energy access has become a key determinant in socio-economic development the stories from mudzi and mutoko districts are sending key messages that biogas technologies can improve sustainable energy access contribute to the reduction of deforestation caused by cutting down of trees for firewood minimize greenhouse gas emissions and preserve ecosystem services